All right, Matt, thanks. For years now, we have followed the murder of Isaiah Torres, the Benton County boy murdered by his parents after years of abuse. Well, now he's being remembered in a way that aims to prevent tragedies like this one from happening. Five, uh, new at 5, 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker introduces us to the woman behind the Isaiah Torres Memorial Scholarship Fund. I wanted to do something that would be in Isaiah's memory that would keep his memory alive, that would continue to honor his life and his story. Registered nurse Amy Gorley has no connection to Isaiah Torres or his family. She happened to be at the Bentonville Square one day as Mauricio Torres set on trial for a second time, accused of killing his six-year-old son Isaiah. She decided to sit in on the rest of that trial and then the third. So at the third trial's sentencing, I almost felt worse after it was over because I felt like no one would continue to share Isaiah's story or even talk about him anymore. Gorley says after Torres was sentenced to life in prison this February, she sat in her car brainstorming. That's when she decided investing in the education of the future child advocates would help honor Isaiah's life. Isaiah would be 15 next week if he was still alive. If he wasn't killed at the hands of his parents, the ones who were you know, supposed to love and protect him the most. She established the Isaiah Torres Memorial Scholarship Fund at Northwest Arkansas Community College, which will benefit students in the Child Advocacy Studies or CAS program. Stephanie Morris oversees the program and says it's designed to prepare future frontline professionals that might be involved in investigating or responding to child maltreatment. She says many of their students rely on financial aid or scholarships. Many of them are first generation college students or they're working full time and every penny will really make a big difference to them in the long run. They're also, um, these are, are fields for people that have a passion for helping, not necessarily making a lot of money. She says it's amazing that Gorley took Isaiah's story and decided to do something good with it. Now Gorley is calling on her community to help make a difference. One person can change things. One person can make a difference. One person can inspire other people in the community. And I think that's what people need to remember is that you can do hard things and you can do things that will make a difference. In Bentonville, covering News Relive, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. If you would like to donate to the Isaiah Torres Memorial Scholarship Fund, you can find details on how to do just that on our website, 5newsonline.com.